What's going on, folks? It's your favorite duo back with another fire collab for y'all. What's going on, y'all? It is time for the quarterly review crew collab. I'm super excited for this one. This one uh, was brought to you by Ashley Peno Jalapeno. You guys, she decided, you know what? Memorial Day kind of starts, you know, this kind of marks the start of summer. So summer vibes is the theme. Why not a better way to kick this off than what we kick summer off with, and that's Memorial Day. Memorial Day, okay. Memorial Day. Weekend. We so, did. just going to vlog what's going on on Memorial Day. Nate's going to be chilling with his fam. So, I'm going to be... So. Bruh. So, I'm going to be cooking and showing y'all what I'm going to be cooking. Showing y'all what it look like. Letting you know what it tastes like. And that's how we're going to do it like this. I'm so gonna be lit. I'm going to be lit. If you don't know the review Nate crew, get to know everybody in there. There's going to be a link to everybody's channel down Make below. Make sure to click on it. Yes, Check them and on see out. how Subscribe. they're kicking off summer. I know by the time y'all see this, it's not going to be Memorial Day anymore. Let's go ahead and get this Memorial Day vlog, and happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Man, shout out to all the vets that gave their lives for oh, this country. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to the vets, man. Absolutely, man. So let's go ahead and get into it. Memorial Day, let's go. Let's do it. Curves, I pick up! We're about to make some of this pasta salad that people love that I make. So you see a lot of stuff on the counter right here because all of this is going into it. So let's show you. We got the tricolor rotini pasta. That's what I use right there. We got some Parmesan cheese, some bacon bits, mayonnaise, honey mustard. We got regular mustard. We got some, uh, uh, some wasabi ranch. You can use regular ranch. We got sweet corn, broccoli, uh, some garlic, some uh, oregano, little Tony Satcher, some black pepper. We got some dried cranberries and we got some sunflower seeds. So now that the water is boiling, let's get our pasta in there. You wanna cook your pasta until it's al dente. You don't want super mushy pasta. Make sure it's kind of firm. Next, we're gonna take our corn and we're gonna take our broccoli. We're gonna saute that a little bit. Thing on the drain. And then you're gonna rinse your pasta under cold water. This is the only time you should ever rinse pasta is when you're going to use it for a pasta salad. Got the broccoli in there. Little Mrs. Dash. Just gonna dump the vegetables over in there. Now we're just gonna mix this up. Now we're gonna season the pasta salad. Before we put any wet ingredients, we're gonna season this joker. So let's go with some garlic first, oregano, black pepper, some Tony Satchers to it right there. Let's get this mixed together. Go ahead and add some bacon bits to it. Now I don't use real bacon. I use bacon bits because technically they're vegan and it's not real bacon, so I can eat it too. Oh. Let's add some Parmesan cheese to this. And we're gonna mix that together add some cranberries to it. That's gonna give it some sweetness. We're gonna put some of these sunflower seeds in it. Sunflower seeds is gonna give it a little extra crunch to it. Let's mix that up. Check it out. Joker looking good already, right? And now it's time to add the wet. Got your mayo in there, you're like, oh, that's a lot of mayo, but we ain't done yet. Let's add some mustard, just some regular mustard. Add some honey mustard. Then we're gonna add this ranch dressing. Just gonna add some sunball sweet chili paste, just a little bit. Now let's mix it all together. Nice and creamy, but I'm gonna do a little test, taste test, make sure all our season is on point. Mm. Mm. Yo, yo. That's good. Simple, easy, pasta salad. We're making a non-traditional banana pudding. So for the bottom, we're gonna use some yellow cake mix at the bottom. Bananas right there, vanilla pudding, some powdered sugar. We got some butter right here because we're gonna need that. We got some vanilla wafers or vanilla wafers, the cheap kind. And then we got some whipped cream. So let's go ahead and put all this together. We're gonna melt right about two sticks of butter. Take two bananas, put them in a blender or any type of food processor. And make sure your bananas are ripe. You don't want no non-ripe bananas. You don't want nothing green. 
gotta add just a little bit of milk to the bananas because the bananas ain't gonna blend by themselves. Take your cake mix, dump it into this bowl. Take the butter, pour it into the batter. Banana mixture, pour that in there. Let's grease your pan. Add your cake batter to the pan. Spread this around and we're gonna get this into an oven at 350 degrees. Uh, for probably about 20 minutes or so. The cake is out the oven. It's gonna take the cake. I'm just gonna smash it down. And the reason I'm doing that, I don't want it puffy because I want to create like a little, um, sort of like a little cave for the pudding to go on top of. We got our whipped cream. Now it's kind of frozen because I put it in the freezer so I have to let it unthaw. Because you don't want room temperature whipped cream, you want cold whipped cream. So uh, that's why it looks kind of curdled like that, but it's just kind of frozen. And then we got a, a bowl of diced bananas. So this is about three, three and a half bananas right here. And then to this whipped cream, we're gonna take one cup of powdered sugar and then one box of vanilla pudding mix. All right, now we're gonna beat this. You're gonna start off on low because you don't want that powdered sugar to go everywhere. We're gonna beat this until it becomes thick. And then we're gonna fold in the bananas. We're gonna add a touch of cinnamon to it, just a little bit, just to add that little cinnamon flavor right there. Still not ready yet. That's how thick you want it right there. See how thick that is? It's like a really thick, thick, thick pudding. That's what we're looking for. Take these bananas. All you wanna do is fold them on up in there. Then we're gonna take our vanilla wafers. We're gonna crush half of these up and put them in there. Another half is gonna go on top. Now we're just gonna fold these cookies over into your mixture. And that's what you got right there. Next, we're gonna take this mixture, dump it over onto the banana cake bread, uh, banana cake that we made. And then we're just gonna spread this out. Get it all even. We're gonna take the other half of the cookies here, take the other half of the cookies, and lay those on top of your mixture right there. And the best part to any banana pudding, traditional or non-traditional, is the cookies. So that's why you see with so many cookies all through there on top and the side mixed in there. You got it all in there, but we're still not done. We got one more thing. Oh, and this is gonna knock it out the box. We're taking some caramel and we're drizzling it over the top. Oh, baby. And there you have it. Your non-traditional, non-traditional, definitely non-traditional banana pudding. Now we're about to make some peach cobbler cinnamon rolls. You heard that right. You saw on one of the Freaky Food Fridays we use biscuit dough to make cinnamon rolls, but today we're kicking it up a notch by making peach cobbler cinnamon rolls. So right here, we got a bowl of diced peaches. It's just canned peaches and light syrup that I diced up. Buttery biscuit dough. Cinnamon, sugar, cream cheese, and butter. We're gonna saute these peaches. Some butter, get that over in there. Because I don't like hard peaches, so we're gonna put some heat to them. That's gonna soften them up. We're gonna add some sugar. It's gonna create sort of like a syrup. We're gonna add some cinnamon to that. We're gonna add some nutmeg to that. So while those are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get this biscuit dough rolled out. So what I'm gonna do is just spray my counter a little bit. They need to come up with a better way of uh, opening biscuits. I'm tired of these damn things shooting at me time I open this container. We literally just gonna merge them together like this so you don't have those gaps before we roll them out. We're gonna take my rolling pin and these things, we're just about to start rolling out. All right, so we got the whole sheet of dough rolled out here. One stick of softened butter or margarine. You're gonna spread that all over this dough. Now that we got the baby all nice and buttered like that, look at that. Woo, whole thing nice and buttered. Now, it's time to add some sweetness to it and get a little cinnamon me up in this joker. Adding sugar. No measurements. Just add as much as you want. Now we're gonna take that cinnamon and just go crazy with the cinnamon. And then literally, we're just gonna take your hand, smooth it all out. Now we're gonna take this, and we're gonna use a slotted spoon, all right? You don't wanna, cause you don't want that liquid. You don't wanna make the cinnamon rolls wet and stuff like that. So you're just gonna drain that liquid off and put the peaches and just spread them out like that. 
now we're just gonna roll this joker up just gonna roll it the long way you know you know i'm talking about all y'all rollers out there if you roll up <laughs> you already know i'm talking about roll it up my home boy you're gonna take whatever dish you're gonna put this in you're gonna spray it down and we're gonna start layering it up but right now we got our roll all rolled up like that send the rolls out the oven so we're gonna make the glaze for it so you know this sauce that we had left over from the cooking this is gonna go on top of the cinnamon rolls. Go ahead and make the frosting for the cinnamon rolls. So we got a block and a half of cream cheese right here. To that, we're gonna add some powdered sugar. Got that in there. We're gonna add a little milk. We're gonna blend this up. And again, you start off on low because you don't want powdered sugar going everywhere. This stuff will fly. So you're gonna get all that mixed together and blend it together. Now I decided to go ahead and add some butter to it. Get all that mixed together. So here's your finished product right here. And again, I'm working with one hand, so all we're gonna do is spoon this over the cinnamon rolls. You'll see it in a second. Now we got all that spread on there. Got a couple pans of it like that. Actually, got a few pans of it. But one more step. Gonna take some more of this good old caramel, put that on top. And there you go. Finished peach cobbler cinnamon rolls. Now it's time to make the baked beans. Right here, we got four cans of baked beans. We got some red onion, <laughs> green pepper, and we got some plant-based ground beef with a whole pantry full of spices right here that's about to go into it. So y'all, it's about to go down. I always dump them out. I strain them because I don't want all that liquid because with the barbecue sauce and stuff that's gonna go in there, I'm gonna be making my own liquid. So we're gonna dump all of that out. We're gonna go ahead and saute these peppers and onions and this meat all together so it can go into the beans. We're just gonna cook all this up. We're just gonna add this plant-based beef to it or plant-based ground. Take that paper off. Work on one hand, people, work on one hand. So we got it all chopped up. So now we're just gonna season this right here. Tony Satchers, garlic, some Mrs. Dash. And now we're not gonna add any salt to it because we're gonna have salt in the beans. So we don't wanna over salt it, done. Okay, so we got all the beans in the container. Now we're gonna add our meat mixture to that that we just did, the meat, the onions, the peppers. Get all that in there. Before we sauce this up, we're going to mix all this together. Get the beans, your meat, your peppers, and your onions all mixed together. So we're going to take some of this JT's Backyard Boogie Gourmet Sauce. We're going to pour that over on up in there. We also got some JT's San Andreas. I'm not going to use as much of this because this is a little spicy. Some honey mustard. We're going to get some of that up in there. Some teriyaki sauce. We're going to add a little bit. That's why I didn't add no salt to the meat mixture. Y'all, when I'm doing my baked beans, I don't have like an exact uh, recipe of what I use because I just experiment and throw whatever I feel like is going to be good up in there like right now. Kick it up, kick it up a little bit with some sriracha sauce right there. Not going to go crazy. That's good. Mix all the wet together, then we're going to come back with the dry. Now for the spices. Oregano. Cumin. Uh, what is this stuff? Mrs. Dash. A little more Tony Satchel, just a little bit. A little cinnamon some ginger, uh, some garlic, black pepper, and then we're gonna add some sugar. Got all the dry spices in there. Now we're just gonna mix that all together. Now that it's all mixed together, look at that right there. See all that thickness and that goodness with all them peppers and onions in there right there? We're gonna throw this into an oven until this is thick and bubbly. And here is the final product for the baked beans. Nice, thick, rich, hot. These are about to be so freaking good, but it ain't up to me. Let's see what the family thinks about. We got a whole lasagna right here. Of course, you got the beans that I did right there. We got a rotisserie chicken. We got the salad, bim, banana pudding. What else we got over here? You got hot dogs right there. You got them ribs right there. And listen, this person right here, Courtney, listen to me. This lady right here made this dip. Hold on, Courtney. I got to show him this. This right here 
is a vegetarian yeah, nacho dip. Here. Jesus Christ, this is it's ridiculous. She made a meat one. I don't care about that one, but that one right there, <laughs> freaking ridiculous. Uh, Edwin, yes, don't do it. Why you covering your face? Why you covering your face? Don't cover your face. Don't give you permission. Now we got the fam up here in the kitchen. Say what's up, y'all. Hello. Hello. Happy Hello. holidays. Say oh, hi, baby. I need a spoon for that. Say hi. You know I. All right, what we got? In, oh, they got this big old bucket. Uh, what is this called? Bucket punch. Punch punch. Punch punch. Punch punch. Yep, got a big old bucket there. What we got? We got a pot of corn right there. Some spaghetti. Another bucket of hunch punch right there. Oh yeah. Oh wait a minute. What we got? Cinnamon rolls. Shut up my VVS. Yeah, yeah. Oh hold on. We got the VVS. Very special uh, something. That's what it stands for. Very special something. That VVS that belongs to Caitlin right there. <laughs> The VVS, I'm all of VV, I was talking about VSS. And that's, of course, you've seen her before. Hey, Ma, say hi. Hello. Then you got my twin. Happy holidays. My twin. Oh, yeah, she, she, was, she was just got her little shot right there. Boom. Uh-huh. Then you got my sis right here. Bam. Oh, we've got the matching necklace. Got a senior this year. Let go. <laughs> then we got Goldie right here. Say what's up, Goldie. Hi. Uh-huh, you see that hair, it's all Goldie. Well, it's pink at her house, though. Mm-hmm. Say hi to the camera. There you go. Say hi. Baxter. Baxter. Why are you licking your chops for? Huh? Why are you licking your chops for, Baxter? This right here is the birthday boy. That's Jaden. You don't look like it's his birthday because he, 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 he mugging right now. But his birthday is tomorrow, so we got a little... They got the cake right there. That right there is the graduate right there. He's running, but I got him already. He can keep running. <laughs> I already got you. Class of 2021, Tyrese. What you think of this pasta salad right now? This pasta salad makes me want to slap your mama, your grandma, and your auntie. But my mama right there. Come here. <laughs> Try the baked beans real quick. Let me know what the baked beans hitting like. Some ground beef in there. Yeah, Ooh, the turkey in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Josh, about the baked beans. Say that again. Hey, that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. I must want to give a shout out. Go ahead and give you a shout out. Hey, shout out to us. So I'm eating this banana pudding right here. This joke is good. Hey, this joke is really, really good. Wow. I look sweaty as I don't know what. Woo! So I'm full. Everybody else is full. Got a little drink drink in everybody's system. So yo, wrapping this up. Y'all uh make sure y'all enjoy y'all holiday. Well, let me let me rephrase that. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all holiday, because by the time y'all see this, ain't gonna be Memorial Day no more. So I uh, hope y'all enjoyed y'all holiday. Y'all had a great time chilling with whomever y'all were chilling with. Y'all ate good and did everything else. And, uh, man, y'all don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Uh, join the fam. If you like everything that we do, hit that button and let's go with it. But uh, until next time, we about this joker. Peace.